why did the guy that died in the motorcycle crash get counted for the COVID death count? Wes, why? Why did the guy <laughs> that died in the motorcycle crash get counted for the COVID death count? Oh, he, he's doing follow the money. Oh. West Fed Media. Good digital media guy right there. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a... Uh, you asked uh, where it was. It was Palm yeah. Beach County, Florida. Okay. Just add it to the weird things that happen in Florida. And one of the one of the, the tough areas hit in Florida. Right. Palm Beach County. You know, hit hardest by the um, Chinese coronavirus. <laughs> Why? That's where it came from. Allegedly. <laughs> we, could just, we just call it COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy's death has been wrongly attributed to the virus. This is coming out of a, a CBS 12 news investigation. Now, hang on a second. You say wrongly. Yeah. And you say it attributed. Mm-hmm. I'm attributing the CBS 12. I don't think I don't think we properly understand how these coronavirus death cases are actually being reported. What they actually mean. Okay. Well, well, well let, let me uh, explain All the right. the five W's of the story. The okay. Who, what, when, where, why? Because, uh, like I said, this uh, the CBS two uh, CBS 12 news investigation. As well as uh, Fox 35. These are all local news outlets over there. So they, uh, the health authorities, they're saying that the, the health authorities misreported the number of individuals testing positive for the coronavirus, resulting in some labs reporting extremely high po- uh, positivity rates, as high as 100%. I heard about that. <laughs> 100%. Whoops. Even though uh, that, uh, that did not match the, the, the reality. Yeah, everyone passed. Everyone gets a trophy. Exactly. COVID <laughs> trophy. <laughs> Must let some uh, snowflake millennial do all the testing. <laughs> and then again. Don't hate on millennials. Millennials. I love millennials. <laughs> Health officials are under fire again over there for what they're saying. They're listing this man who died in a fatal motorcycle crash as a coronavirus related fatality. So that CBS 12 news team, the I team, you know. I team. <laughs> they discovered similar issues uh, in the Palm Beach County identifying eight cases in which a person was counted as a COVID death but did not have COVID listed as a cause of the contributing cause of death. That's, that's just eight. What? <laughs> eight cases in which a person was counted as a COVID death mm-hmm. but did not have COVID listed as a cause of contributing to that death. But aren't hospitals getting, like, monetary incentives when they treat more COVID patients? So, in a, with a capitalist healthcare system, and I'm not I'm not saying anything about I don't that, want a socialist healthcare system. No, 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 Have no, you ever no, seen absolutely. those hospitals? Those don't work at all, but... You can't even way, get bread. The, <laughs> Mike, are they giving money... We're talking about the, the guy that died in the motorcycle accident. And a guy in Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah, have a seat next to uh, uh, VIP uh, Bethany. And then, uh, and then uh, kickboxing Jen. Have a seat. Have a seat next to Mike there too. And then uh, intern Shane, you know what to do with the cameras, all right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, do the, I need to? The guy that died in the motorcycle accident and got counted as a, a COVID death. Uh, first, let me apologize because. Uh, No, it, it's, oh it's all gosh. good. I'm glad you made it. And, uh, and, and you know what? You're a tall guy, Mike. Uh, if you could uh, raise the microphone up. Yeah, bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. It's good to see you, I miss you, brother. I miss you. Too, I miss you. It's you good to see good. you. No, you look good. I have my moments. I feel a little fluffy right now considering <laughs> the summer. I got my six-pack and my coolers. Okay, the six-pack oh, six mm-hmm. and the coolers. Yeah, so. yeah and, and that microphone right up on it. Yeah. Get right on it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. No, no, no. Kickboxing gym was on yesterday. It's too much. So much for one week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah. So with the um, so the question that uh, that that, that uh, Bethany of VIP Clarksville just asked was, uh, is it because do these hospitals get more money for more cases if more cases reported? Lawyer Wayne, what do you know about that? 
I don't know anything about the money situation. I assume there's some kind of funding for tests, I think. Um, I don't know if it's related to the actual number of cases. Man, unbelievable. But, yeah, and that's just in this, this one hospital where it's eight were flagged, in fact, in errors. That's eight. That's just in one hospital. Well, you hear about also um, people going to get tested for COVID. The line's too long. They they sign mm-hmm. up. They leave, and then they they get positive results. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there. In the we team. talked about that right here in Montgomery County. Yeah. And I, I was just gonna say, I had somebody tell me that it happened to them, so that I personally knew. Now again, and you trust the source, right? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. like uh, he's a, he's a reputable guy from the gym, so I just don't know the PPE world. There's a lot of I don't know if anybody's familiar with like personal protective, protective equipment yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of money in that so oh. um and you re- reference I, tests look look is, i can't i can't go to a, on a website without seeing an ad for what face masks yeah mm-hmm. face masks go, go on my phone look at this face masks and apple cider vinegar with the mother they're always listening that's why right, right. right. well they are we were just discussing that <laughs> the other day yeah is, uh, my dog kimbo he actually passed a couple days yeah ago. we heard sorry and next thing you know like even on her social media she had like pictures of the dog from like several years ago pull up out of the blue, and we're like, "That's really odd." It's like crazy. for that, like it's just, it's just odd. It's too much. It is, but then again, is is we actually we trade things out. Yeah. Is, you know, is is this inconvenience or intrusion? I guess we would be, like, is it which is worse, the intrusion or the inconvenience of not being on social media or having those? Right. And we allow it. We, we click. We, we, we click. Uh, agree. It, oh, yeah. it, it can do. be helpful, we, you know. Yeah. Some, of, some of you like, you know, when I go on YouTube and it shows me a movie for the latest, uh, a movie trailer for the latest, you know, uh, uh, the Tenant movie, for example. The Tenant. I, I want to yeah. know. Yeah. I want to know that movie's coming mm-hmm. out. I'm what, interested in that. What's the Tenant? Uh, it's the latest movie by oh, let's get, Chris Nolan made the Dark Knight, and uh, it's the yes, it's the accident. It's one of my favorite directors. All right. Well, here let's uh, let's move forward to this next one. But the All motorcycle right. guy. Yeah. I assume that the reason that it's being reported that way. Is we're not getting when we see the COVID nineteen deaths. Mm-hmm. I assume that means people who died who had COVID nineteen, right. not died because of COVID nineteen. So if you mm-hmm. die of a motorcycle accident while you had COVID nineteen, it gets listed among the deaths. Yeah, but, yeah, but I that's, I had to mm-hmm. yesterday because otherwise you have to figure out did they actually die of the disease? I know, but or you, did, did, was it their cancer or their pneumonia I or be, something I, else? That is a little. I different. figured the motorcycle yeah. crash killed them. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and that's why this is making this is why I assume it's making headlines because it's it's an easy case to figure out. Okay. It wasn't the coronavirus that killed him. But there are lots of other cases of people dying where they had coronavirus. Did it play a factor? Maybe, maybe not. How are we supposed to know? Well, you know how people are. They could always argue this. is be like, well, if he hadn't been so sick, it, you know, it sure. affected there his ability go. to operate you know, that motor vehicle. And he sneezed at the wrong time and bam. Took him out. That's crazy because uh, yesterday uh, the uh, the four million, you know, uh, number was hit, mm-hmm. you know, for, uh, for, for deaths overall. You know? No, wait. Uh, four, four million. Four million yeah, in four. the deaths world? Cases? Uh, no. cases. Cases. I was say. Cases. I'm sorry. Not deaths. So. No, no, we're good. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. No, four million cases. Right. <laughs> overall. Okay. You know what I mean? And you take that. This was a big number for them. The other, you know, here, four million, you see? You see? The problem is every new case that you add to it makes the disease seem less dangerous because the death, every new case that comes along that doesn't die makes the death rate go down. Right.